he's capable of. He's going to have a... Oh, and look, pressure coming from Andy. Andy Gillang, I tell you, he's just really managed his tyres, Andy. And as you've said and we've seen so often this season, he comes good towards the end of races. He incrementally gets better. His last lap time at 2.07.2 was three tenths faster than Hafiz Sharin's lap time. That is a concern for Hafiz and Ducati and the JDT team. Yep, so Ducati in a Honda sandwich there. Chip Macarin in front and Andy Farid behind. Truly is Asia, Japan leading. Malaysia second, Thailand third. Malaysia. Johor in fourth and Thailand, uh, sorry, Indonesia in P5. Great stuff. It is Indonesia in P5 that we need to keep an eye on now. This isn't going to be a an easy rider to pass, but we've seen Andy Farid do it before in brutal fashion on Hafiz. Wine, oh, goes wide. Hafiz goes. has gone wide. And Andy Farid has been allowed through by Hafiz Sharin. And you're wondering about that wobble earlier on, whether it took away some of the grip. And Hafiz is just trying to manage the grip on his back wheel. Well, you make a small error with somebody of the class of Andy Farid behind you. You're going to get punished. And now Hafiz Sharin is shuffled back to P5. It looks so impressive this morning during qualification. Everything looked uh, set for a JDT Ducati triumphant victory. But once you get onto race conditions, gosh, it's got very different. Yuki Kuni has been incredibly consistent. 207.2, that incremental one tenth goes. Same for Aslan Sharp. Yeah, he wants that place back, Hafiz. He's coming up the inside of Andy under braking to turn 15. Andy switching to the inside, but it's clean lines through the corner by both of them. It's not done yet. Brilliant work from Happy Sharin. He retakes P4. That's going to be a great battle, though. They are one and two in the championship standings. So, Hafiz will just want to close that gap a little bit. Yes, there's three races. Yes, there's 75 points available. But in the quality of field, you can expect maybe a Yuki Kuni to pick up a couple of wins. Aslan Shah has been the real spoiler in this one. An unexpected spoiler on his last appearance, on his last uh, weekend to in the ARRC. Unexpected and welcome spoiler. Andy Farid's going to try and spoil Hafiz's afternoon as well. They are number two and number one in the standings as things are right now. Two laps to go. Yuki Kuni has led almost from the very, very first corner. Hafiz holds on, can't afford to make another mistake. Here is Yuki Kuni. Two is Aslan Shah in splendid isolation. He's got a good two seconds on Chip Nakarim. Hafiz Sharin Abdullah for JDT on the Ducati ahead of Andy Farid. Yeah, it's this battle for P4 that is the one to watch now. People doesn't sound very exciting, but we have the top two in the championship fighting for that position. Just six points between them. Advantage, Andy. Yuki Kuni, though, if he picks up 25 points, as looks likely here, he catapults himself in towards the reckoning. He'd be within 10 or 15 points of the, the front two, and unless something very unfortunate happens to either Yuki or Aslan, Chip Nacker in. They are going to be one, two, and three, respectively. Right. Coming through. One, two, and three go through the start finish line. Cooney, Aslan, Nacker in, Hafiz, Andy Farid. That's four and five. Zakwan, a good six. Sachiro, seven. Kazma Daniel on the Yamaha, eight. Shona Shimura is closing in on nine. Oh, this is nice and tense for people. Oh, Perry Russell, I'm enjoying this. It really is, yeah. With his six-point disadvantage, he will close that gap if these positions stay the same. Andy Farid has got no intention of letting that happen. I think he's going to try and send it at some point. Yeah, he, I, I suspect Andy Farid is because he's closing in there, isn't he? 
He's yeah. having a little look. Not quite in range at the moment, but going to have a plan. The Indonesian Championship leader. Yuki Kuni means meanwhile is looking very, very good for his second win in four races and his third podium in four. Catapults himself right into championship reckoning. <laughs> and Fischer this, certainly knows who's behind him. This is fascinating stuff. Two experienced racers on good machines. What's the tyre wear like as he's gone through on the inside? Hafiz is forced to stand up. Hafiz has lost P5. That is brilliantly done from Andy Farid. We've seen him do it before uh, on Hafiz. He's done it again now. We're gonna come to the crucial part. Hafiz might have the power on the Ducati. The switch back from Andy Farid. This is a sprint for home. Up at the other end, the race is going to be won by Yuki Kuni. The Japanese will come through. Aslan Shah is going to pick up a, a brilliant P2. This is the battle for P4. The win goes to Yuki Kuni. He's in championship contention. Fabulous from Aslan Shah. P3, Chip Nakarin. P4, Andy Farid ahead of Hafiz, Sharin Abdullah, Zakwan Sachiro and Kazma Daniel. But Yuki Kuni is the race winner. And so many narratives to come from this race, Barry Russell. That SGG team, they know what a brilliant job's been done by them and by their rider. The consistency, just phenomenal. Andy Farid pinching P4 and 13 points from Hafiz. It'll increase his lead to six points over the top, but they're only 12 clear. He's only 12 clear of our winner today, Yuki Kuni. Yuki is right in this championship charge. Aslan Shah on that BMW, who really made second place his own. Nobody was going to get close to the pace and consistency of Yuki Kuni. That was such a classy ride by the 20-year-old Japanese rider. He knows what he's just achieved. Well, he's achieved a convincing race win and a tilt at the title. Certainly has 75 points up for grabs, Yuki Kuni. With the kind of form he showed today, he must be confident going into tomorrow's second race. Because his lap time, you used it several times, metronomic. He slowed down on the final lap at 208.1, but otherwise he was 206s and 207s right the way through. Yeah. They say Daniel was recording his lap times and they were just within a tenth of each other. With a little tail off at the end, but only by a tenth every lap. Confirmation in this 12-lap race. A win by 3.1 seconds. That's convincing for Yuki Kuni for SDG Team Harkro Honda Philippines. Aslan Shah Kamruzaman, a P2 for the veteran on TKKR BMW Racing. Four seconds clear of Chip Nakarin on the Honda for Honda Asia Dream Racing with a Stamo ahead of his teammate, Andy Farid Izdaha. Andy Gilang just edging out by one tenth of a second. Happy Sharon Abdullah for JDT Racing Team on the Ducati for P5. Zach Wanzadi, that's a very creditable recovery for P6 for Honda Asia Dream Racing with a Stamo. Sachiro Minimamoto winning the Yamaha Techni Derby against Kazma Daniel. The Thai, in the end, nearly three seconds clear of Kazma. Sho Nishimura, he put his engine woes behind him to pick up six points uh, for P9. Sorry, not, uh, seven points for P9 on the BMW. Ibrahim Noradin, we didn't see an awful lot of him, but on the Ducati, it was always going to be difficult in this quality of racing. 30 seconds down, he will improve tomorrow. I have no doubts about that from Ibrahim. Osama Murray, good work from him. 113 down for the Victor Racing a Yemenese racer. Cho Yu Joe, as always, doing his best. 10 seconds down on Os Osama, uh, on for the Sabitar team. Sakamoto did not finish. Chang Chi Ying for A-Racer Speed Tech, the uh, Chinese Taipei racer. He didn't finish either.